Hi folks, this is All The Fruit and today I want to dig into the differences between cauliflower and broccoli. Two very interesting plants. Well, when I was a teenager I learned that all these things like kohlrabi and drumstick cabbage and Brussels sprouts and cauliflower and broccoli actually one single species, Brassica oleracea or the cabbage or coal or yeah. <laughs> It's basically one species which was bred into a lot of different forms, like in the drumstick cabbage and the Brussels sprouts, you have the big butt, in the kohlrabi, you have the thick stem, and in the broccoli and cauliflower, well, huh, I thought, yeah, you have the enlarged inflorescence, which is not completely wrong, but broccoli and cauliflower are two completely different things except that they are the same species. Well, why are they two completely different things? Well, firstly, well, there are two different varieties, officially named two different varieties. The broccoli is Prasica oleracea var italica. The cauliflower is Prasica oleracea var potrioides. Well, varieties are not <clears throat> very big divisions in the plant kingdom, so Two varieties of the same species, that's not very far apart. But why are they not in the same variety? Well, if you look at them very closely, in the broccoli you will see a lot of little buds. Actually, if I leave this broccoli like this, those buds will flower in a couple days or weeks. And will still be edible when they flower. But usually the farmers or the shops throw them away once they flower because they look so unusual and people don't buy them or don't eat them. And when you look at the cauliflower, you think, well, maybe the buds are really small. Nope, no buds there. At least not in that stage and not normally. This is actually an inflorescence merry stem. <laughs> What's this? Well, a giant unspecified mass. Well, a merry stem is basically a um, tissue or a group or mass of cells which haven't been, um, which haven't been um, assigned their specific role and function and shape and content yet. They are just, yeah, un, undifferentiated cells which can develop into differentiated cells. Like a bone cell cannot develop into a brain cell, or a skin cell cannot develop into a blood cell normally. <laughs> um, but the meristem cell can develop into all those types. And the inflorescence meristem, which grows at the tip of the inflorescence, splits into different meristems, the floral meristems, and each floral meristem produces all the, all the tissues of a flower, of one flower. But this is unspecified, undifferentiated inflorescence meristem. Very different from the fully developed buds here. Here, they just need to flower and get pollinated and produce seeds. Well, this is basically the, the thing which was going to produce the flower, didn't produce flowers, but just grew to become a big curd like mass. Actually, this stuff is called curd because it's, uh, it's, it's also called cottage cheese. It's also compared to cottage cheese and so on. Very interesting and very unusual and very different from the other cabbages. Yeah, both um, broccoli and cauliflower were, were developed by the Italians in the first millennium BC. Pliny already described something like cauliflower, although I bet it would look very different from the cauliflower nowadays, 2000 years ago. Probably a more primitive cultivar we don't cultivate anymore. But by the time of Pliny, most probably they were already <coughs> cauliflower and broccoli, which look something like today. Now, funny thing is that the broccoli seems to have been associated with the island of Cyprus in the Middle Ages. In the European culture, as well as in the Arabic culture, they saw in it a plant from Cyprus, and actually Europe was importing broccoli seeds for centuries from Cyprus. Yeah, both were quite popular in Italy, and then... <coughs> 
The broccoli was introduced to Central and Western Europe in the 18th century by Italian immigrants and to North America in the 19th century. The cauliflower, similar story, but the Germans bred a variety which can be harvested in summer and autumn. The French, with their more um, mild climate, bred a variety which can be harvested in winter and spring. And the Indians, the India Indians, not the Native Americans of North America, bred a variety which can grow in tropical climate. However, this is what I found on the page about the cauliflower, on the page about the broccoli. They claim that this tropical cauliflower is actually a broccoli which looks like a cauliflower. Also, cauliflower exists in a lot of different colors, usually white, purple, orange and green. And the green one has one very geometric form called Romanesco. But on the broccoli Wikipedia site, it said that all those are actually broccolis. I think the truth is somewhere in between the hybrids. Since all this is in one single species, they readily hybridize. But let's forget those. I or I'm making a different video about them. Let's compare the taste of green flower buds to white inflorescence meristem. Well, here we have the broccoli. Well, two big differences. One is it has flower buds instead of meristem, and second one is it has chlorophyll. Mm. I boiled those two with a little bit of salt. Mm. This tastes like broccoli, basically like any boiled green vegetable. Broccoli even reminds me of algae a little bit. Yeah, broccoli tastes of algae. Mm. This uh, the stem is a bit more sweet. This is more savory. Now the cauliflower. Mm. Yeah, when you know there's something different, you realize that the consistency is quite different. Mm -hmm. This has retained the rest of crunchiness. And the uh, petiole is also kind of sweet. Now let's try the, the raw version. You can eat all those cabbage things raw. Usually mostly uh, kohlrabi is eaten raw and all the other ones are being cooked, but you can eat them all raw. Mmm, nice and crunchy and sweet. And with the kohlrabi flavor. Mmm, nice. Now the broccoli. Mmm, more tough. Still crunchy, but also quite tough. Mm hmm. A stronger kohlrabi flavor. I'm still getting a bit of sweetness in the stock. Very interesting. I never tasted them side by side like this. I sometimes I cook with, with both of them, but then I put them together in the pot or in a pan. It was quite interesting to have them side by side and to know that actually this is a different type of tissue in different part of the plant than this. So folks, this was those were the cauliflower and the broccoli. The cauliflower is Brassica oleracea via botryoides. The broccoli, Brassica oleracea via italica. Stay tuned for a lot more flower videos and hopefully soon also a lot of fruit videos from the beautiful country of Germany. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.